Good morning, Maria. I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much for taking time to record or re-record this session. For those uh, who are listening to this recording, uh, Maria Spevin has agreed to re-record the presentation she made in Croatia. Uh, there was a glitch in our recording, and so I've asked if she wouldn't mind re-recording her presentation so that we could have that content available on the YouTube site, along with all the other presentations. So this uh, video is just slightly different than the rest of them, but that's okay. Uh, Maria's content is very important. So let me just say a few things about Maria before she speaks, and then I'll turn it over to her. So Maria Spevin, uh, she is currently a PhD student. She does her master's. She is a nurse. Uh, she, of course, has her bachelor's as well. She currently works as a lecturer in the field of nursing at the University of Raika, Faculty of Health Studies in Croatia, and she has been there for four years. Before that, she worked for nine years in the clinical hospital center Raika as an operating room nurse. And in 2021, she completed the advanced practice program, evidence-based program at the University of Iowa Healthcare. Now, in addition to her teaching activities, Maria actively participates, participates in congresses and scientific research, including publishing to journals and publications. And she is the author and co-author of nine scientific papers and a member of the Scientific Development Project Unireva Inova. Maria participated in several workshops on preparation and implementation of projects and is part of the winning team of the innovation camp dedicated to digital and modern solutions for a gender equitable society within the regional partnership of the EU project equals EU. Maria is the Institutional Erasmus Coordinator as well as the Chair of the Internationalization Board of the Faculty of Health Studies. In 2023, she received recognition from STTI European Region for Excellence in Early Career Research. And I would like to add to that that she has recently accepted a position as one of our leaders in the Caring Science International Collaborative. And if you go to our website, https colon forward slash forward slash caring.science, uh, you will be able to see uh, our full leadership team and that we have recently added Maria to that. So welcome, uh, Maria, to our team. We're so pleased that you will be working with us in this international collaborative and making a big impact in Eastern Europe and Croatia. Without um, adding any more to that, I would like to turn it over to you, Maria, and to present the um, research that you have done in Croatia. And this is the same presentation you made at the meeting for CSIC in September of this year. So, Maria, welcome. Thank you, John, for your kind words. Uh, so, like uh, John said before, I'm Maria Spevan. I work at the University of Rijeka, Faculty of Health Studies, and I'm a nurse educator and PhD student. Today's topic is testing the relationship of healthcare staff profile of caring, negative experience of pandemic, and outcomes of turnover at, and uh, sick time. I will show you creation results. So, uh, for introduction, I need to say that uh, well-being of nurses and clinical staff has never been important to understand globally than today, post-pandemic. Uh, understanding of well-being of nurses has implication for outcomes of nurses and patients alike. And uh, post-pandemic work environments must address both the personal and professional well-being. Before I start with results, I need to thank all people who participated in data collection at the second phase of uh, this research. So, thanks to the Dr. Nelson, our Dean Daniela Malner, Sandra Boschkovic, Maria Bukvic, Kata Ivanishevic, Rosemary Tusic, Snežana Juricic, Morana Magas, and Mario Gazic for their exceptional engagement. So, we know it, but the question is where we apply in the practice. Nurse job satisfaction is a critical driver to support better and more equitable healthcare for all. And that includes nurses' uh, physical and mental health, uh, nurses' ability to provide quality and safe care, patients' perception of quality they receive, and hiring and training costs associated with nurses' turnover. 
so because of all of that, the main focus of this study was to understand uh, how the profile of caring assessments relates to sick time of staff, their intent to leave current job, difficulty working through, through the pandemic and post-pandemic trauma. In the method, we used a cross-sectional study design with convenient sample of nurses from Croatia. Uh, 184 nurses participated in uh, this re research, but 139 nurses uh, included in final analysis. Uh, we are collecting data uh, with profi profile of uh, caring tool, and uh, we use descriptive and inferential statistics for analysis. Something about uh, result, result. In this slide, you can see demographic data, and we can see that most of respondents was females. That highest uh, level of education was bachelor's degree. The most uh, respondents worked in primary healthcare, and 70% of respondents uh, was a technical nurse. The mean age was 42 years. Now uh, I will show you significance for demographic variables on outcomes. We get in results that demographic data had no relationship with sick days or residual trauma, that uh, well-being at work positively correlated with age, but negatively with hours and shift work. Uh, nurses working in primary health care have more well-being at work than other nurses, and nurses who work more hours per week uh, and uh, who work in the hospital system show a higher intention to leave their jobs than nurses who work in primary health care. Also, nurses with uh, longer work experience have less intention to leave their workplace. Uh, elder nurses and those who work longer at the same work unit had more difficulties during the pandemic than younger nurses. Males had less difficulties at work during the pandemic than females, and nurses who working in primary health care had less difficulties during the pandemic than those who working in the hospitals. A uh, level of, of significance was less uh, 0.05. These results can be said to be expected, and uh, comparative studies show that nurses in hospitals had more difficulties uh, during the pandemic than those who worked in other workplaces. In this slide, I will show you significance level for all independent scales and subscales on outcomes. In this table, uh, we can see that intention, intention to leave decrease uh, if satisfaction with coworkers, uh, with autonomy, organizational rewards, patient care, and participa uh, participative management increased. Difficulties of working during the pandemic increased if satisfaction with, pati uh, with patient care decreased. Uh, residual trauma decreased if satisfaction with professional growth, uh, with professional growth, with job satisfaction and organizational re rewards increased. At the end, uh, the pandemic has, uh, has been very difficult for nurses in case of decreased satisfaction with patient care. At the end, uh, these results highlight, highlight the importance of nurses' well-being at the workplace. In these uh, results, we can see which factors have a negative and positive impact on nurses' well-being. So, we need to appeal to health managers to introduce positive changes in the working environment. Some of these factors are overtime, shift work, interpersonal relations, autonomy, rewards, participation in decision making and professional work. So I need to tell and we all need to know that nurses are pillar of our of uh, the healthcare system and we need to take care of them. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Maria. That was fantastic. And we're so appreciative of the work that you've done in this last year, a uh, few years that we've worked together. And uh, we're looking forward to the 2024 um, research. So thank you, Maria, for your presentation. Thank you, John.